Hi, I'm Eric Gregory, Senior Technical Writer at Mirantis. In this video, we're going to walk you through the steps to create a Kubernetes deployment with multiple replicas of a service. We'll also see how we can get some basic information about our services and take a look at how the cluster handles requests to our demo server. This tutorial assumes you already have your Kubernetes cluster up and running. If you need to set up a cluster, I recommend using a local Kubernetes environment with a distribution like K0s or Minikube. We'll put links down to, to those down in the description. To start off, we're going to create a simple deployment of an Nginx Hello World demo with three replicas. And we'll do that with the kubectl create command. We're going to create a deployment called hello. And we're going to specify that we want to use the Nginx demos hello app. And we'll use the plain text version. We're also going to specify that we want three replicas. Great, our deployment's created. Now we can check up on that deployment using the git pods command. So that's kubectl, git pods. And when we do this, we'll see that we have three pods running our Hello application with alphanumeric sequences appended to the pod names to distinguish them. Remember that we have three here. We specified we wanted three. That's going to come up later. Now, we want to expose our deployment outside of the cluster. In this case, that means we're going to be able to access it on localhost through a node port. To expose the service, we're going to use kubectl expose deployment hello. We're going to specify our ports. And finally, we're going to specify our type. We want that to be a node port. All right, let's check our service to see if it's running and get some top line information. To do that, we're going to use kubectl get services hello. All right, we can see some basic information, our name, our type, cluster IP. If we had an external IP, that would be here too. But here we want a little bit more information. So this time we're going to use the describe command. Describe services, and we're pointing at hello. All right, we get a lot more information here, but for the purposes of our video, we're mostly interested in our node port. Now in this case, that's 32722. If you're following along, it's probably going to be different for you. Okay, now we wanna see if we can access the service we've exposed. And to do that, since we're on this local environment, we're gonna use curl and see how the service responds. We're pointing to our node port. Awesome, we have a response from our service. Here we can get some insight into how Kubernetes is using our replicas. If we make a few more calls to the service, we can see that our responses may be served by any of the running pods. When we look at the information that our hello demo is returning to us, we're getting the server address and we're getting the server name and these server names match our pod names. So we can see the alphanumeric codes for our individual pods coming back to us and we're getting all three of the pods answering our requests. Okay, interesting. Now let's take that a step further. One of our big goals in replicating pods is to create a resilient service that will keep running smoothly if one pod crashes or is overwhelmed. So let's simulate a pod going down and see what happens. We'll simply delete a pod manually using kubectl delete pod. And we're going to delete the pod that answered a request most recently. So let's delete TV 
75J. All right. TV75J is deleted. This pod is down. This pod is gone. So how is Kubernetes going to respond? Let's check our pods and see what's happened. All right, we still have three pods. Remember, we specified that we wanted three replicas. We had three replicas. We deleted one. We still have three. So Kubernetes has created a new replica to replace the one that went down. And we can see here that this was not among our original three and it's only 21 seconds old. This is a new replica automatically, automatically created and ready to serve responses, ready to go. It's already up and running. We didn't have to manually intervene here. So I hope that this gave you some insight into how Kubernetes deployments use replicas. For more tutorials, developer resources, and Kubernetes tools, visit us at Mirantis.com. Have a great day.